Hey everyone, before the video starts, I just wanted to let you know that the Calliope Reed Quintet has released our first album, Amaru, streaming on all platforms. Link is in the description. Enjoy the video! Um, no, I'm not playing the first piece, so I don't have to get there right at the time, but it is a gorgeous day. It smells like spring, second winter. Didn't make as much as a comeback as I thought it would. We might solidly be in spring at this point. Gorgeous out, St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day. You know what I mean? I know my cup says let us know. Look at this guy. Oh, my activities last night, you would have thought it was April 20th. Because 420 is a palindrome this year. We're rehearsing today with my chamber ensemble, Juventus New Music. We only play music by living composers. We have a very diverse program and it's great. And I love playing with them. mushroom coffee thing um i don't know i'm just trying to like use it up at this point so it's finally concert week i finally have a concert to report on i need a necklace okay that's better i can't tell you how excited i am i mean i know that like two videos ago i did a bruckner thing the the videos were pretty or have been pretty rapid fire like there was you know the whole like Quintet thing, plus the bird concert. I saw Rancid at some point in there because I had so much free time. Formed a solo with Strand Theater. Bunch of bass clarinet stuff. There was like the Klezmer concert, the one in the dive bar, Shibui was like really hitting it hard. I was starting to feel really burnt out about it. And then I, we had gig miss. And then it's funny because I had surgery and I couldn't play during my surgery. And I was like, all right, cool. So I've got a month where I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna take any gigs. I turned down a bunch of stuff. You know what happened during February? I got bored. So maybe this is like the balance that I need. Maybe not a performance every single week, not multiple performances every single week, but like just a handful a month, just a, a reasonable amount would be nice. And that's kind of what I have, except for May. May gets really weird. I've got a show in Montreal on a Friday and then literally like the next day I have two concerts here. So two concerts in one day is a lot. When you're in Montreal the day before, it starts to become excessive, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not even thinking about that weekend. It's time for us to go to rehearsal. We're going back to the Multicultural Arts Center this morning where we were yesterday. I didn't take a whole lot of clips yesterday because I was, uh, chilling. Also, take your vitamins. We've entered into the season of, I don't know what to wear. Leggings, right, and, and a foreskin, I mean a sweater, but I've got a t-shirt on underneath and I'm wearing my puffer jacket on top But like I have no idea what the temperature is gonna be when I go outside. It's it. like the sun is out Could be hot. Well hot to a New Englander is like, you know Lower 50s. <laughs> it's like fall and spring are always like the seasons of layers and at least fall it's fun because like the fashion in fall is just chef's kiss impeccable the fashion in spring is just kind of like we're emerging from winter we're pale you got some people wearing down coats you've got you know the person next to them is wearing like a sundress and flip-flops and then you've got like the year-round cargo short man let's 
Let's go to rehearsal. Let's see what it's like outside. I had to move my car on the brake. I hate doing that. Specifically for this reason. Turns out I got the afternoon off. So right now we're having lunch. And then we're gonna, I don't know, do something with our afternoon. So I um, took a nap. I don't know. I've been, I'm feeling like lazy bones. But this concert is not stressful. Usually, sometimes before these, I'm like really stressed out and I'm like practicing and worrying. I'm not stressed out for this one at all. I'm not worried about this one at all. The sun sets in about half an hour. I know I said I wanted to go on a walk. I'm gonna go for a quick walk right now just to like get some fresh air and feel like I did something else today that was like worthwhile. I'm hoping that I can get back into some sort of workout routine because I did really well with the yoga in January. February hit and nothing. But also like I had surgery and I couldn't like overexert myself and then I just never got back to it. We're gonna get back to it. Why is Beethoven up there? <laughs> I put him, I put him in front of the window. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, we need to go for a walk before the sun sets and the coyotes come out. Oh my God, look what's out. Little flowers. Little, little, little thingies. Signs of life. <laughs> I think I've been suffering from sunshine guilt where like it's sunny outside and the weather in Boston's been so nice. I should be outside, but I don't want to be outside. I want to be inside relaxing, but I know if the weather's good. I should be outside, but I'm not. So this is me trying to remedy my sunshine guilt. Monday was dead because everyone was hungover from St. Patrick's Day. I thought it was going to happen. Did you see any like Monday morning St. Patrick's Day walk of shames? No, I worked. <laughs> I worked Saturday and I worked Sunday, so I, I, I saw like people, I saw the volley were getting fucked up, and I'm like, there's no way that. Yeah, because my favorite is when St. Patrick's Day happens like midweek, and then like the next morning on the tee, you see like people falling apart like definitely going home and like with like oh, green like yeah like various amounts of like green no, I didn't <laughs> at least we don't dye the charles river green there were nips all over the oh i can imagine <laughs> The feeling 
when you don't look at your weather forecast and don't realize that it was supposed to start raining. play anything else or is that just me i don't even have my bass clarinet i get it back tomorrow it's taken a really long time because there was a lot wrong with it the last rehearsal for our concert is tomorrow um we've already worked with two of the composers which is really exciting but i'm going to practice see a fly flying around can you just get it because it's bugging me in my face i look so artsy today artsy fartsy cute a black turtleneck can just really elevate the look you know i look sophisticated today we have our dress rehearsal for juventus new music ensemble there will be a link in the description to the concert because it was live streamed, but the beauty of it is that you can watch it anytime. It's an incredibly high production and it's free, but feel free to make a donation. But like also don't feel pressured. I'm still having breakfast. It's my breakfast bagel. Still am planning on filming a little montage of my, of my walk through Boston to rehearsal. Uh, the thing is it got cold. Like I, I know I said, recently that we were solidly in spring. I have never been more wrong. I can totally hear my rehearsal going on right now. They're rehearsing the piece I'm not in. It's okay that I'm in here. There's no reverb happening that I'm adding. This, that's all in like happening in the percussion that is over there. I'm wearing my jacket inside because it's cold. Why am I all the way over here? The concert is nigh. It's tonight. Um, I'm not in my concert clothes yet. I just, I decided, like this morning, it was cold, it was rainy. I decided I did not want to wear heels in a jumpsuit all day. So I'm wearing just like pants and a turtleneck because it's freezing. And I'm just gonna change when I get there. Get there like 15 minutes ahead of time. We run through sound check to kind of get like, get the feel of the flow of the concert and to make sure that the cameras are set up for our incredibly high quality, I might add, live stream, link below. I'm going to run through my music for this evening. I don't know if I went over the theme of it, but it's a call for action on climate change and all the pieces revolve around 
climate change, climate awareness, um, you know, how our planet, whether you think climate change is real or a hoax from China, I don't care. Uh, there is a very clear difference in the weather. Music is still beautiful and, um, I mean, music, like, it could be written about one thing, but you could interpret it to be about something else. It's a rainy, crappy day. I just want to be under my comforter taking a nap right now and just wasting away the day, marinating, fermenting. I love it when that happens. <laughs> So I think part of the reason why I'm not nervous about this concert is that my part is not hard. Um, the majority of my part is just long notes where intonation matters and listening to what other doing matters, but in terms of like technique, it is not really technically challenging, which I am so thankful for because I've got a lot of things that I'm practicing right now that are technically challenging, but it doesn't mean that, that, that this is any easier. Like I still have to make sure that I'm like completely warmed up and on a cold day like this, uh, when my instrument is like physically cold to the touch, it generally means that it's going to be flat at first until it's fully warmed up. Um, and then also cold weather also, uh, you know, creates um, water collecting under the keys a lot more because it's condensation. You're blowing hot air through a cold instrument. Condensation happens and it gets stuck under the keys and it creates little bubbles. And it's like, you don't want to be during a concert. But that's actually why I carry cigarette paper with me. Um, they do make this for musicians, but I find that it's a little bit more expensive. Cigarette paper is a couple bucks at convenience stores, like they're, they're super thin sheets of paper. You just slide it under the key and it actually is incredibly absorbent. This is just like a little clarinet hack that we've figured out. Under it absorbs the water. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times, but this is like something that I throw in my pocket to take with me out on stage, just in case, just in case there's water under the key. reads are kind of going through it. They're, they're going through it. Um, basically, it was really warm um, leading up to this week, and then the last two days have been super cold and dry, and today it's raining. Um, so, like, the constant fluctuations in temperature and humidity affects cane a lot. So, they're all, like, warped and just not sounding like they sounded a couple days ago. I'm hoping at least one out of the four that I think are gonna work. We're just looking for one. So in the first six bars, we have Growls, Flutter Tongue, and Glissandi. <laughs> was eight. I hate it. Still undecided as to what read I'm gonna use. It doesn't have any marking on it whatsoever. Good job, Celine. And the hall that we play is really boomy and echoey. So if I sound good in here, it'll sound great in there. So so fun. It's just rolling an R, but also blowing. The unmarked one, nah, nah bra. The one that I would play the Bruckner concert on, nah. These two are kind of acting the same. Mm, this is the one that feels like I don't have a lot of control over it. 
Alright, I think this is gonna be it. I just need to make a decision. This is gonna be the read. We'll see if it changes when we get to the concert. What is like a fast-ish food that's like healthy, but not like too healthy? Like I, I don't wanna go to Sweet Green and have like a kale salad and then have like this inundation of fiber because you know what fiber makes you do. Well, it was teacher appreciation week, so I've got deviled eggs and a blueberry muffin and a quiche. I think I'm I'm all set. I'm I'm here happy. Thank mm -hmm. you.